What is up my camera crew? Today we are gonna be shooting some brand content with Cody. So I'll link all his stuff down below. This guy's killing it in management, marketing, you name it. Uh, visual content, does it all. We're gonna be shooting some content for Nothing Fancy. They're a clothing brand. Are they based out of here? In uh, they're in Maryland. Maryland. But they come to Nashville a lot. So. Yes, and they are. They got like Hardy, a whole bunch of people that uh, represent them. So we're shooting some brand content for you, uh, for them today, taking you guys along for the ride. So we're at Walmart right now, as you can see. We're gonna go pick up some poster board for some product stuff, and then uh, we're gonna go home and start setting up and get some shots done. stack of the black ones as well. Nice. Back drops, baby. Got three of them. All right, got to have the essentials. Just for today. Had to get rained on. Thanks a lot, Tennessee weather. All right, so we've made it home. We got the goods. We got these are going to be our backdrops. We got a back. Oh, we got a black one. We got a white one. And I'll show you how we're going to set those up. We got all the aperture lighting. Got the Sony in there. We got Cody right there. Where's the? Where's the nothing fancy? Uh, underneath the. Oh, and we got all of these hats. And this is what we're shooting. I will link nothing fancy down below. If y'all haven't checked them out by now, stop the video, go check them out. Nothing fancy is insane. I love my hats and these hats are incredible. So what would you say? You like nothing fancy better than anything else you've ever worn? I've been worn? wearing, nothing fancy is like the only hat brand I wear because it fits my head the best. But that's what I hear from everybody too. Like the fit of the hat is like amazing. Like these are good quality hats. Like it isn't just another brand you know, putting a hat together, slapping a logo on it and saying, you know, hey, we're a hat company. Like these are really legit hats. They are even like, they, uh, on the inside, they take time to, you know, stitch in like the name of the hat and everything. So this one right here is the Roll Tide. So any Bama fans out there, Roll Tide. That's right, nothing fancy guys. So we're gonna get setting up. We are also gonna, you know, bring you along on this journey of shooting product photos. All right, catch you in a second. So what are you doing right now? So we brought the lint roller. You gotta, you gotta take care of your products. So for like clothing material and stuff, like it's obviously makes more sense to lint roll it. Make sure there's no dust or like little uh, particles on it. All right, so we have the lighting set up done. As you can see, very simple. You don't need a lot. I think the biggest misconception is starting, oh, as I'm vlogging, this is all falling apart. But I think the biggest misconception to just getting started is just getting started. You don't, I'm vlogging on an iPhone and I mean, we're shooting this obviously on a Sony a7R 3 had assortment. We got the light dome too. We got an aperture 300 X there, aperture 300 X there with the beauty dish and this little diffusion that comes on it with it. But if you didn't have these, you could do these product shots outside. I mean, we're using tag board as background or as a background. So, I mean, yes, we have plans on increasing like the, what do I want to say, um, production value of what we got going on here, but the end product will stay the same. So, and you say if the end product stays the same, why would you upgrade? Because it makes your life easier. Yeah. I feel like with the more stuff you have, like the nicer stuff you have, obviously getting those better quality photos will be easier. But another thing uh, for what we're doing today is just getting really good product shots of these hats to put on 
like to put online and then we're gonna get in 360 video of them. So I will say a key to getting, making sure that like every shot is the same angle, is the same focal length, same everything, is we're gonna set this tripod up, mount the camera to it, and I'll show you guys all this uh, as I get rolling on it, but, and then you just, every time you can just take your picture that way. That way every hat is gonna be marked so we know where the hat should be every single time. Angle's the same, ISO's the same, shutter speed's the same, all of it is the same, no room for error. So paying attention to detail is key. But yeah, not a bad little setup for uh, the kitchen area of my house. All right, so we have learned a few things as we have gone through this hat photography extravaganza. And one thing we learned is that it's not that easy to make them look the way they should. So what are some tips, would you say? So since the hat, if you can see like the hat by itself, it's already kind of like wrinkled on the side. So um, if we were putting these pencils that we gaff taped together, and we're putting on the inside so it stretches it out. It just makes it look a little bit more natural. Um, obviously in the future, we're gonna get some inserts for these hats that'll make them more rounded out and stuff, but this is what we're doing, DIY. As you guys can see, we have finished up with the white backdrop. We are moving to this black backdrop. And the reason being is these are white hats. So when we're cutting these out in Photoshop on these white back, this like this white wooded blend into the, the white background a little too much. So this is just gonna make our life a lot easier. And I figure taking five, 10 minutes to switch out the backdrop versus taking an extra on how many hours to cut these out uh, is definitely worth it. So we're gonna get that done, wrap up these last few hats and uh, hopefully then get some edits going. What is up guys? So we just finished shooting all of these hats and one visor, which I believe isn't in there, but we just finished shooting them all. I'm gonna pop up some photos right now so you guys can see what we got. But it was a successful day shooting. What do you think, Cody? It was awesome. You great. happy with what we got? Great first uh, shoot for this brand, Nothing Fancy, one of my favorite brands. Honored to be able to work with them as my first official product photography content brand, so. Heck yeah, so we got a lot of big things coming for Nothing Fancy, and if you're a small brand, reach out to me or Cody. I'll have our emails below, and uh, we'll do some dope stuff for y'all, you guys as well. So that's gonna be it for today. Thank you guys for tuning in. Thank you guys for coming along. Make sure you subscribe, smash the thumbs up button, become a part of the camera crew. If you didn't know, I, I tell, call everyone the camera crew because I'm Sam the cameraman. Sam the cameraman. So become a part of the camera crew. Uh, love you guys, and I'm gonna catch you in the next one.